Hello Space Engineers, Wellington6012 here and welcome back to Ares Colony. Well, at least the uh, asteroid above it. How's everybody today? Hope you are good. So, we have a bit of a mysterious visitor turn up. Hmm. So, yeah, best best we investigate, see what's happening before we get into things uh, proper. So, um, yeah, it's a good thing I built that landing pad last time. It's almost as though I knew it was coming. Hmm. Right, let's have a bit of a bit of a look see. Uh, you're going away, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, so this may be familiar to you. It's not my ship. I didn't build it. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, um, hmm. Let's have a look. Do you know where it's from yet? It's got the logo on it. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look inside. Oh, automatic doors. It's a buggy in here. I'm trying to act surprised, but I've actually already done this once for reasons, which I'll tell you about uh, soon. Um, yeah, so these stairs are actually upside down. I didn't realise that. Uh, but I really like the interior of this ship. It's uh, quite cool, the detail and how they, um, how the designer has uh, fit quite a bit in. You know, got all the new panels and stuff, and just yeah, it's it's a really good use of space. So if we go up here, uh, down here we've got, I like this bathroom layout that's sort of quite private because normally you have to put it behind a door or something but that's really quite private for a cabin. It's, uh, yeah, I, I like that. I like that setup. We might use that at some point. Uh, this side's just the same I think. Yes it is. Right, uh, cockpit down there. Um, Oh, that makes sense. Because of the vents. So that's got a vent going into there to oxygenate that. So when this is oxygenated, uh, there must be a vent up there that... that yeah, see, look, there it is. Oh, that, that's why it was venting as it went. Mm. Oh, look, some data pads. Let's have a read of those. Uh, so GPS... Interesting. And an invite. Hmm. Hello, space engineer. Tales of your exploits and knowledge of your new colony has spread across the system, and we are impressed. The industrial opportunists welcome peaceful friendship and cordially extend an invite to our orbital platform facility above the planet Hurtum. Hmm. So that's where this ship came from. Ah. To discuss opportunities for the development of the barren planet below. When you are ready, Please feel free to use this vessel for your interplanetary journey. Kind regards, Industrial Opportunist CEO. How interesting. How very interesting. Uh, so we've got a long way away. There's no jump drive in here, but that's uh, that's not... We'll let somebody else worry about that. All the way over there on Burton. Hmm... So, yes, a uh, little bit of theatrics there. Uh, let's just turn this thing off now. Um, yeah, so this is uh, this is the beginning of the end. This is the start of the final chapter. So there's still stuff that I want to do. So there's still several episodes at least up, uh, up my sleeve. Uh, we need to tidy things up. But um, this is how we will be leaving the uh the mars area so nothing super fantastic uh no building a pyroes type ship like we did in hyphestus prime uh just when it becomes time to leave we will leave and this is the ship that will take us so um yeah as i've been talking about the last few weeks we're sort of coming to the end of this and just to reiterate, still more to do, but um, yeah, we are we are getting to the end. So, as I say, this is just um, you know, like we had the countdown for the Pyro East. This is uh, this is sitting here waiting, ready to go when we're ready. So um, yeah, that's the plan, and off to Pertum next. So we've had the invite, we'll be on our way. Hmm, but still some stuff to do here. So uh, 
first of all oh right just go outside so yeah i have um i have already done this once <laughs> so i've had computer troubles uh, it's good to be getting back in and recording on what seems to be a stable system uh it, it, not space engineers troubles computer troubles so uh yeah that's um i had to reset windows so i lost all my game files and things uh, well not lost just they're not where they should be so i've had to had to sort of reload space engineers um these trees are looking good so that's that's good because i reloaded the data but also had to reload the model which these weren't right to start with um which is actually how well future wellington sees them so i think i know now why future wellington's not seeing the trees properly hmm uh yeah and you know i had to reload these images and stuff so it didn't take too long but you know just same with the software and why i'm doing this twice uh let's just get into this uh is because doing it again i should say is because yeah the first time i recorded it i ended up um obs was recording my mic even though i had my mic muted it had other channels so yeah i had my voice going across three channels which was not right um and i didn't realize until after i finished recording oh that's not what i want all made again um so we'll just quickly do this yeah so uh i've had to had to fix a few things reload the ore map from um from down on the planet because that was back to the vanilla one so there was just ore patches absolutely everywhere um, but that all worked it all it all it all worked out well so right just before we go i just want to put an atm in i probably should have just saved it actually rather than having to do it again but anyway uh let's put you into there oh that's a creative mode on my mistake oh i should get rid of it first Um, oh, and I've got, yeah, I was looking at this before, um, just to see what the actual pattern was in that ship, because I've never used the, um, what do you call it, the sci-fi armor. Mm. Oh, well. come back to that. good there's a reason I'm making this color so yeah we'll um we'll just finish off up here then we will head down to the planet and do some stuff down there uh, I'll have a look at the uh, at the to-do lists which I didn't actually do last time, I forgot. There we go. So, yeah, I reckon that looks quite cool. Just adds that little bit of detail. Uh, and we want the... Yeah, so trying to remember all the data files and stuff, um, you know, how to load up the images and that sort of thing. Luckily, I've actually sort of thought ahead uh, and saved things in certain ways that I could figure out how to do it again. Um, but that's that's cool. I like that. That's uh, That just gives it a little bit of uh, interest, you know, change in texture, functional. Still don't know what's going to go in this area, but anyway never mind let's go up here and head out i mean that's just so cool having that big ship just out on the platform like that it's um yeah it's it's, it's something that i actually want to do sort of another just fun scenario i want to do a an asteroid base or maybe a state a space station something where i stay put and get everything to come to me so yeah i'm just contemplating yeah anyway so that's a cool ship like that ship awesome design mm. right 
let's jump in the Thetis and head back down to the planet. So we'll just get this uh, sorted. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Just about forgot again. Check these. Destroyed relay. Okay, so I think we can get rid of the turrets. There's probably more we need to put in, but whether we do or not, it's definitely done the antenna now, so that's good. Now the space space fighter, yeah, that's I haven't really got around to doing that, and I just I don't think I'm going to because the problem is the orcs. They are just they're too big. Yeah, that's not the not what I was intending. Um, let's just have a look at this. So potentially, I think we'll do. We're just going to do some work down there, not on the dome itself, the lake and stuff. I think I'm going to do that next time because that's going to be quite involved. I'm just thinking of putting in some extra landing pads and stuff like that. Uh, I did consider whether that ship actually landed down on Yuri's colony, but um, no, it can just land up here. Um, laser into. I think we've done that. I need to check that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure whether we're going to get around to these things. And the unknown signals, um, yeah, we can't get them from space because I haven't got them from space. Uh, did I? No, I didn't do anything. Um, no fuel. Ooh. Uh, yeah, so... But I have a plan for those, so watch, watch the space, or watch, watch the skies. You never know what might happen, um, but not today. Well, definitely won't happen today. Okay. So let's just park this up, and then uh, yeah, then we'll head off down and do some stuff on the surface. Gentle, gentle, and. Very good. Okay, well, uh, we will be back, but um, yeah, time to head down. See you soon. Oh gosh, look at that parking. That's not very good. That's. I wonder if that's shifted. Hmm. Anyway, see you soon. Okay, so as always, I've uh, overshot and just trying to do a reapproach. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, just about ended over the top of the dome, and now I'm well behind. Right, but that's all right. We've got plenty of uh, plenty of hydrogen. Uh, let's get to that view there. Okay, we're actually pretty well lined up, I think. Uh, undo those. It's not quite sure which cross here to go for. We're looking pretty good. Glad to put those lights on, particularly the green one. Bang. Uh, okay, the front's just about down. Let's, let's try and get the back. Now the front's up. There we go. Oh gosh, there was a truck outside my window. <laughs> Right, we're down. Fantastic. Okay, just do all that. We'll leave those on available. And uh, yeah, I'll have to get a drink and something to eat. But oh, it's good to be good to be back. Good to be back. So let's just. Okay, that's good. Those those are working. off the defences uh, all the trees are there so that's good 
Uh, I have lost my swimming pool. I need to fix that. But um, oh, that's that's a bit of a relief actually. That that's all all good. Right. And stuff. Yeah, pretty good for things. Oh, platinum's going. Awesome. Well, that's good. Okay, fantastic. It's real good. Right, so um, I think the next thing will be. Oh, I was going to get some beagles in there. Stand by. Go for hot chocolate because it gives us both food and water, but not this time. Hmm. It's okay, we'll just get rid of everything out of there. All right, so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just first of all put in a gantry here. I just got to figure out how it's going to work. Hmm. So what I think is something like that. Just because of the lights. <laughs> I don't want to have to redo them. When I grind your way. So, um, how, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Just, uh, just a little side tracks. Uh, hydrogen tanks. So that's filling those up. Very good. Oh, that's too low. Hmm, okay, well that's that's actually probably not a problem. Because Yeah, okay. I have an idea. If we were to yeah okay that, that could work right let's just grab some parts and a hinge and what we want is to do this will get it up to the right height and if we go like that and that's going to be in the right spot so if we put a hinge there like 
like that. That and that. And then... Hmm. Maybe we do what we did there and put a rotor on. Uh, okay, that's right, we can just uh, move it. Or, 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 do we go with a piston? If we went with a piston, that would probably work better. Sorry, I will, what I'll do is I'll actually get rid of this and just change, change things a little bit. Full. Just drop that on the ground, that's fine. So if we were to do that. Pinch. <laughs> do that. So you can sort of, uh, I think, maybe see what I'm doing. actually in the wrong way because I want it to be able to connect to it. Okay, so that's cool. So now if we rotate you around the way. That should line up. Very good. to change you to, well I'll just go one for now, just manually adjust this, good, and point four, one point five. that will suffice. Okay, and then we'll put um, some walkways on. Like so, and so, and then that will just sort of retract. Energy low. Like so. Could even. Now nah, that's probably the best place for it. Yeah, so that's uh, that's good. And yeah, what we want is fuel low. Barrel. Oh, I haven't got my O2 bottles. Fuel critical. And they're all on stockpile, so. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, 
Uh, with, uh, with hydrogen. Oops, probably got one in here, maybe. Yes. Oh, an empty one. There we go. Can I access through there? No. All right. Well, you sort of see what I'm up to here, anyway. Um. So yeah, probably just uh, leave this with me for a little bit, and I'll um, figure all this out, and uh, yeah, come back uh, when it's done, and then we'll move on to something else. Uh, the most useful cat. Marvelous. Yeah, I'm just yeah, I just need to figure figure this out. Won't be long. Okay, so that actually took a little while, but uh, it's come up real well. So, if I press this, we have some timers down underneath there that do their thing. And there we go. It's locked. And then if we do that, it'll unlock and retract. Easy peasy. And if it's sort of halfway through its cycle, you need to let it finish its cycle first. So that worked out. Uh, that worked out pretty well. Very happy with that. And we just step off. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a shame it just didn't quite, didn't quite reach in. Oh, laggy, laggy. Why is that so laggy? Hmm. Uh, yeah, just didn't quite reach in. But uh, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so yes, now I want to head over here. So we will we will do more stuff over here. I, I think I'll put a control room in. Um, yeah, maybe sort of just down underneath here somewhere. Uh, not today though, not today. We'll just we'll move on. I want to come over here. Actually, I want to go over here. Just check how we're off for steel. I'm going to use a bit of it. 36k here yeah, that should be enough <laughs> uh that's right there'll be bits of um orcs tower won't it uh yeah I, and i must sort out these turrets in some urgency so yeah i'm just thinking that i want to do some stuff here i'm just wondering just wondering uh, yeah, I might give Future Wellington a try, just to see if I can do a time lapse. Hmm, I haven't looked at it from in here, that's quite cool, very cool. I just I haven't been here in such a while that I just forget <laughs> but that's that's really quite cool quite cool okay um yes right I think I think uh future Wellington either come and watch or I don't know do something to let us know what's going on because <laughs> I don't know right now yeah stand by
Alright, so I did record that as a time lapse. I don't know if I've actually used it or not. I guess we'll, uh, you'll know already, and I'm still yet to find out. But um, that's, uh, either way, that's where we will uh, finish off today. Uh, but um, pretty happy with how that looks, actually. Uh, it took a couple of goes to get it in the right sort of shape. Um, but yeah, so we've got the, got the um, access ramp here for wheeled vehicles. And uh, yeah, we can land a reasonable size ship on here uh yeah i'm just i'm even contemplating whether i actually shoot back up to the asteroid base very quickly whether i even just make a disposable rocket and um bring that ship down because i reckon that would be quite cool to have that parked here um i'll have a think about that and tomorrow tomorrow not tomorrow uh, next time which may be my tomorrow but i'm actually probably not going to be mine tomorrow uh but next time uh i'll continue on in here as well so there's um going to be quite a bit of work to do now future wellington did see kind of those trees all right but did not see any of those trees so that's why the camera angle again if you actually have seen it uh will be a bit funny because it's um it's can't see any of this hmm. okay so anyway that's um as that's what try that again uh, that is where we will leave it today. Oh, and look, I used the welder thing first time in ages. Uh, hang on, let me just get my uh, camera out of that thing. All right, uh, that's better. So thanks, everybody, for watching today. Hope you did enjoy today's episode and can join me again next time. When, yes, we will work inside the dome, I think. Maybe, possibly. We'll see what happens. Uh, until next time, stay safe out there, everybody, and have a good one. Actually, I want to go this way.